Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different from the ones I've done before. I'm going to be using and reviewing these Derwent metallic pencils. So I got them from John Lewis at Christmas. Um, I had a gift card for them. I think they were somewhere in the region of 12 to 15 pounds. I can't remember the exact amount off the top of my head, but um, that's the price they were. Uh, I just saw them and I couldn't refuse, to be quite honest. I like Derwent pencils quite a lot. My like standard colour pencils are by Derwent. Um, not only that they're, they're metallic, they're also water soluble, which I didn't actually notice when I initially bought them, but I, I'm excited to see how they come out. I have opened these before, just because I was too excited. I've not used them yet, I've just sharpened them all. So they're uh, nice and new and ready to be used. So we've got a few different colours here. Sort of, we've got a few looking pinks, a blue, a green. It's quite a few like browns and stuff, but they're metallic, so they've gone for like, you know, metal colours, copper, bronze, gold, antique gold, pewter, silver. And then they've got sort of more standard colours with metallic hue, I assume. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be swatching each one and then I'm going to see how it works with water as well. Right, so let's get started. Let's put these inside the tin. Uh, let's go, let's go top down. So let's go, this is silver, number 80. I do like the actual pencils themselves as well, how they're kind of metallic in themselves. So let's just move this over here and I'll do it on this corner. Uh, yeah, let's just do little squares. That's probably makes most sense. Let's just do... Because if I do it in a little square, that way um, I'll be able to see what it looks like uh, dry versus wet. I do want to say I'm not the biggest user of uh, pencils or colouring pencils. I'm, uh, I've never been able to get to grips with them. I have found that when I use say black paper, which I think I've used maybe once, or um, a toned paper I've used before, that they do seem to work better, but I can never seem to get, like, I, like, I can never seem to blend them right, or uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just not a coloured pencil person. It's probably something I should maybe try and do so I can expand my skill set. But there you go. So that looks, I mean, to be honest, it kind of just looks like a, um, just a grey pencil. I mean, even, the funny thing is even in, in, in real life it doesn't look, just putting my torch on it. So it doesn't it doesn't really look that metallic so I don't know if hmm well maybe it'll look different when it's when it's wet uh, I'm just gonna put next to each one so this is silver 80 see that I've just written that in pencil and that honestly doesn't look that different but maybe it looks different when it is wet uh, this one's pewter. Now the end seems to say it's. I don't know if you can really see that. It's kind of like a yellowy tinge sort of silver. Oh, it's a lot darker. Pewter always reminds me of like cauldrons. Because I'm sure. I'm sure in. Um, yeah, it is in the first Harry Potter film when Harry's reading out his list, or the list is there for us to read. I think it's pewter brass or something. Hmm. This one it just looks like a darker grey to be honest. It doesn't it's not exactly giving me like metallic vibes unless I mean unless they mean it's just metallic colours like as in the colours of metal but the way it's branded, if I look at the front, I don't know, it's just implying that they are metallic. 
Hmm. What's on the inside? Oh, that's just a Derwent's like, this is what we do. Derwent metallic pencils are highly, highly reflective water soluble pencils that blend beautifully together to create vivid and striking effects, particularly on dark paper. So maybe we should try it on dark paper. The shimmering pigments, pigments and strong core produce brilliant definition and dense colour application, blah blah blah, wide variety of uses. So they do say it's supposed to be metallic. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Uh, let me just grab. Sorry for the noise. Sorry for my boobs. Uh, let's just grab my actual pencils. Um, looks kind of a grey. What's this one? Oh, it's Faber Castell, not Derwent. That's what I got confused. Warm grey, this is. Wonder how many people are cringing at my terrible use of colour pencils. See, so. They don't look massively different to me. This one's obviously a slightly lighter because I've not got a dupe. I guess this is quite matte. I don't really don't know if you can see that on camera. But if I move my head around, this does have some sheen to it. Maybe it just needs to have water, but you know, yeah, okay, so this is quite matte. Now I'm looking at it for longer. This is quite matte and this is not mass really. I'm looking at my recording, I don't think you can see it, but it is slightly um, shiny. So let's just, this is pencil, isn't it? Was this pencil? No, it wasn't. Frick. Uh, let's just do it here then. What was that? Pewter. Pewter 81. Okie dokie. What's that one? Gold. Oh, this should be quite nice. Because I do have, so I've not got it to hand, but I do have a gold ink that I got recently that I, I freaking love. It's so beautiful. Uh, it's Windsor & Newton. I've had I've had it before, but I've had it a while ago and I kind of forgot how like just sparkly it is. I did actually make my own sort of holographic sort of ink, utilising the properties of it, but let's see if that works in a video. This gold looks quite good actually. It's not that bad. It's it's definitely a good gold because as you know when you get like your standard set of pencils, there's nothing that they're just colours really. Like something like gold is quite hard to replicate. Like I'm just thinking actually, I've got a, got a candle here. That's actually pretty close to what it looks like. So, you know. This one's just normal gold. Gold 82. I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably put a line down all of them and then do water on one half. It's probably easier. So this is antique gold. So this looks quite dark on the end. It almost looks almost looks black on camera, but no, no, it's just like a brown. So this is like what, oxidised gold? I don't know. I don't know what antique gold really means. It kind of looks brassy to me, but I think oh, there's a bronze. I suppose brassy would be more red. Because <clears throat> people say they've got brassy hair, don't they? So, I mean, it just kind of looks brown to me. But I suppose... I don't know what antique... Oh, I know... Oh, maybe I do, like, really old... Like, I'm thinking of like chandeliers for some reason from like the Victorian era. I mean, that one's not as sheeny as the other ones. This one actually, comparing them now, the silver is the sheeniest, sheeniest one. Sheeniest, shiniest, whatever. So this is, I'm just going to blend A. This was Antique Gold 83. Okay, what have we got next? The bronze. I quite like the colour bronze actually. I've always wanted hair that was this kind of colour. Tried in vain to get it this kind of colour and it just ended up looking ginger. Which I don't mind, I do like ginger hair. If you see any of my drawings you'll see that I do seem to end up at ginger hair sort of accidentally but it's just like I gravitate towards ginger hair. 
I think, well, it was ginger for a little period accident, actually. But like it was like an orange, like bright orange gingery colour instead of like natural ginger colour. <sighs> um, that's quite. <sighs> I would say it should be more orange. That's the fact thing I always have an issue with with pencils is, you know, like they've got, they've got a nice coating on this and whatever, so it looks nice and shiny. But you know, when it comes out, it looks completely different. Um, what was that one? Bronze eighty four. Bronze eighty four. Uh, what's that one? Copper. See, I wouldn't, that helps a lot. I imagine, oddly enough, I think I've just thrown it away. I had some copper wire from my sculptures at uni. Oh no, hold on, this is a lot brighter than I thought it would be. Oh, I quite like this colour. I've been trying to think of a drawing I could do this, and the only thing I can think of is like candlesticks, but I don't know what would incorporate all these colours, like in a metallic sort of way. Unless I just like create some multicolored armor and just be like, this exists. That's got I like this one. This one's my favorite so far. Copper. I like that color. It's like a warm, well, it's warm brown really, which yeah I guess would be copper. I feel like I should start using pencils more because I have loads of them and I don't have cheap ones. They're pretty good pencils, but. Yeah, right. This one's yellow, so we're getting into the realm of like actual colours now, not like um, colours that are trying to be metals. You know, copper, bronze, gold, they're all actual metals. The ones coming up now, they're just, you know, green, blue, your standard named um, pencils. By the way, I'm using a specific watercolour paper. Uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I'll probably pop it up on screen when I remember what it's called. It is underneath here, but I don't want to faff about like it's folded over. I don't want to faff about using it, but it is a watercolour block because then it's got gum on the side. I think it's called gum. And you sort of paint on it and then you can like, you almost like s s stick a, a palette knife in and then like slice it off. It's really cool. I've always had an issue with watercolour paper because you know, you deal with the sort of curling and it's always pissed me off. I mean, it's an interesting yellow. It kind of reminds me of like, like, I don't know, mushy peas maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this is the mushy pea colour. Like it's a very greeny yellow, but I guess like if you ever see ye yellow on metal, maybe it looks that kind of... I don't know how to space it. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Mm, I don't know whether I should move down here a bit because I don't want to go too far up. Uh, what's the next one? Green? No. Yeah, we'll do we'll do green up here, and then oh no, because the reds would make more sense next to them. Let's do let's do the red up here, and then I'll move down here a bit. I think. Right, let's have a look at this. This is the red. Oh, sharpen that a bit too much. <laughs> I think, see, when I was in school, you're also supposed to do this, but I just could never, like, articulate that. Articulate? No, that's for words. Whatever it is for your body. Articulating for you. Is it articulate? I'm sure that's for words. But I could never do it correctly. I just felt, I don't know, like I wasn't getting the right pigment or I wasn't getting the right strength of colour on the page. I don't know, it's just something really weird about doing it like that. My, my art teacher when I was right, when I was at school used to say it was so you don't put much pressure on the lead but eh. I like that red. That's a very um it's a very warm red. Kind of reminds me of like cranberries maybe or something like mulled wine colour. Red 87. What else do I have? I have a pink. Oh, screw it, I'll just keep going. Let's do the pink up here. Pink. Okay. Let's... I'm trying to see if it was which one? which one was the red? I'm lost now. Wait, that's the red? I've just noticed. Look at the ends of those. How is that red? See, that's a bit weird. That isn't even. That's not even a little bit close 
to the colour. This is like almost like a, a muted pink colour. This one looks more red than that does, so I wonder how this one's going to come out. Just realised I've put that green back the wrong way. I can't have that, can I? Uh, yeah, so pink. Let's have a look at this. I just noticed these have slowly gotten smaller as I've cut up the page. Okay, so this this is pretty pink. This is pretty true to the to the end. It's very purpley pink. This would be a nice colour for lips. Because I always seem to do lips in this like sort of pinky over the top pinky colour. I generally think it's just because I have bought one Copic marker that uh, looks like that. I'll try and find it. Yeah, it's right here. That's probably my favourite one for lips. It's that one, E04. Which, this is a lot darker, but it's literally called Lipstick Natural. <laughs> and I was like, yep, that'll do. I like that one. I do like that pink. That's a really good one. Pink 88. Right, I've completely confused myself now. So let's move these around a little bit. Because I've done that one, I've done that one. I did the yellow one, that can stay there though. Right, so it's the blue and the purple I've not done, so let's do purple. This one looks quite pale on the outside as well. It's not, wow. Damn it, keeps snapping the ends. Wow, this is a very, very, very vivid purple. That's awesome, I love that colour. Kind of reminds me of it's the colour you seem to see on like winter candles. I feel like it's always sort of like I mean it's 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 a, it's technically warm because it's got pink in it, but it's got this air of cool to it, like a cool purple. I really like that one. It's just simply called purple. Again, though, it's very different from the end. Maybe it looks different. Maybe this is the water thing, but they're not. They're not dubbed as watercolour metallic pencils, they're dubbed as water soluble. I'm not 100% sure if that makes a big difference or not. Move my page down a bit. Right, and let's do the last one, which is blue, which looks really good. That looks like a really nice blue. Let's see if it holds up. I hope this audio is recording right. My microphone's like there in front of me. Well, not right in front of me, like it's it's by my computer, but I couldn't... I think I'm about to get one of those lapel mics. Yeah, you know, just like clip to you. But I feel like I move quite a lot when I'm talking and stuff, and I don't want it to just end up really muffled. This is coming out quite nice. It's not as nice as I expected it to be. I'm just going to change my light a little bit. It's not as nice as I thought it was going to be, but Again, that's because these end of these pe pencils actually have a coating on them. Most people know that pencils aren't exactly what you like have on the outside, but still, I would have thought it would be... I mean, I guess if you basically remove the, the coating on the outside, like if I took a sandpaper to these maybe and got rid of that outside colour, they'd look similar. I feel like I've, I've done the green one. I've not done the green, I just noticed. Okay. Blue, I think it was 90. Yeah, 90. So hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and there's 12 pencils. So yeah, the green one. This fit actually quite nicely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I like this one. I don't normally like green very much. Don't know why, actually. Just never, it's never been a, a fan favourite of mine. Although I suppose this is more of a, I don't know what you call it, like a sea green. But move this down a bit. It's like a sea green. I mean that's what people call it but yeah it's like a, like a soft turquoise maybe? Or is it teal? I don't know. There's turquoise and teal that are always confuse me because turquoise I think is closer to green and teal is closer to blue. Just the ratio of pigment. I never remember. I like <laughs> they've just got smaller and smaller and smaller as I've gone up. I really like that green one. Right. Let's just put those there. Get rid of my pencil. So those are them 
uh, when they are just in their pencil form, so I've just swatched them effectively. If I do that, you can kind of see the metallic sheen. I mean, it's much, much, much more obvious in real life, but it's not. It's not massively like obvious. You wouldn't see it just from looking at it, but you know, it's the the medium. I've right, got my little water here. Got pulling shavings with me. There we go. Right, and then get my paintbrush. This is just a random Faber Castell. I think I might have got it with these because if I remember right, these are watercolor. Yeah, they are. So these pencils here, I completely forgot about that. They're watercolor pencils as well. So <laughs> I was like, where did I get this paintbrush from? Because all my paintbrushes, I really should buy better ones, but they're just like random paintbrushes. I got in like a pack of cheap. I've got a few that are like Derwent Browning special ones, but most of my favorite ones are like so, <laughs> so beat up and dead. But I saw this the other day, I must have like, I put it in, in a different package because it still had its little um, little protector on the front of it and I was like, ooh, I didn't know I had a paintbrush that looked like that. Right, uh, I think it's probably best just to go up in colour. So let's go for the silver first. Should I feel like I should draw a line? Yeah, I'm going to draw a line. Uh, let's do, and let's get... And my pit art pens. Actually, I've got a few Faber Castell things. Thinking about it again, I just got these in a in a pack because that's what they come in. I was like, I had the the um, getting off topic a little bit, but these I bought a few of these the Micron pens, but I don't know. I didn't like them very much. They just they seemed scratchy. Well, that's probably the easiest way to explain it. I don't know, they just felt, they didn't come out good. Oh, okay, so these black pens do not like going on top of the, um, the watercolour. Oh, no, it's, it's okay. I suppose you wouldn't normally be drawing over with, with the black pen. I should probably check that, please don't have broke. Okay, I thought it broke then. I should probably check the white pen, although I got this recently and oh my god. I used to have a different one and oh god it wasn't very good. Uh, I think I'm going to do water on this side so I can quite happily do whatever I want on this side. I mean it's struggling a little bit, but it's still working pretty well. I suppose because the water is soluble it's kind of picking up the colour a little bit. Hey, yeah, worked pretty well. You know, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I'm not usually do doing straight lines with my white gel pen. Right, so that does, it goes okay, but you again, you wouldn't really be going over it like that. So let's do the silver side. That's too much water. Um, it doesn't appear, I mean maybe it's different when it dries, but it doesn't appear to be keeping its um, metallicness. I feel like I should be using a different brush for this actually. I found this recently, I don't even know if it's any good. It's like almost like a flat wash brush, it's probably better for, for it. Maybe it just looks different when it dries, but at the moment it's not it's not looking great. Um, that's too much water. It's really weird using a flat head brush after using a, a rounded brush for so long. I mean, don't get me wrong, they look quite nice when they're watered. <laughs> Or freeze to use watered down when they're made water soluble. I don't know. Let's have a look at the gold. Because if this is nice, this gold, it could be a nice dupe for my gold ink, which 
because obviously you've got quite a lot more control over a pencil because you can draw it down and then make it gold. Hope people aren't mad at me for how I'm using this brush. I don't, I don't really know my degree I have in art. I mainly did sculpture, which was a mistake. Kids always do what you think's best when you're at uni because you're the one paying for it. Uh, this is antique gold. I just realised those two look very similar now that I'm like, I've not stopped looking at them for a little bit. So is the, the bronze is redder. I mean, it makes sense, it's called bronze. I've noticed, I don't know if it's just how thick I've put them down, but this, like, the pewter stuck around a lot easier, whereas the other ones seem to sort of, I don't know, fade away a bit. It's probably just removing it and then being an idiot. This is the bronze one. Mm, I quite like that. Bronze looks good. Yeah, they do look a lot more, a lot different when they've been actually uh, wetted. It's <laughs> like the copper. I did previously like the copper. Yeah, they come up uh, like brighter, I guess is the easiest way to explain it. They come up a lot brighter when they've been uh, exposed to water. That's probably the right way to, to do it, just to phrase it. Let's have a look at <laughs> I'm so sad. Sad little brush. I'll look at this yellow. Wow, that gets a lot brighter. Over line. Yeah, that, that's a lot, lot brighter. I wonder if these would be quite good. Because there's that style of watercolour where, say you draw a shape, say it's a square or a heart or whatever, and you do like a line on the inside, and then you sort of pull the colour inwards with water. I wonder if these would be quite good for that. Oh, that red is nice. Uh, red's my, one of my favourite colours. And that, that is a good red, I love that. That changes, that changes it completely when you put that with water. Look at that on the, on the paper when I rubbed it off. That's lovely. Love that red one. Let's have a look at this pink. Ooh, yeah. Oh, it's a nice pink. Okay, so I'm really liking the colourful ones. I don't know if they, maybe this is just my preference because these are like, oh, they're brown basically, but oh, it's such a nice pink. That reminds me of the colour I used to have my hair. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that colour. That's a very, very, very nice pink. It's a shame the yellow's so... I just realised I'm leaning in my, in my thing. Yeah, let's try and look at this purple. Now I'm excited. <laughs> have a look. Oh, this is really bright as well. So bright. I just realised I have holographic glitter on the end of this brush. Now. Oh my god, that's a really good purple. It's not as bright as I thought it would be because I was surprised by the red, but wow, that is a lot brighter when it's put with water. That's crazy. I suppose this is what happens when pigment is activated. Let's have a look at the blue. Oh, yes. Okay, so you know I said that I was a bit disappointed that this blue was not as blue as it as the end of the pencil made it seem. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's such a better blue. Look at that. It's a beautiful. Right, and the last one, green, which, you know, is alright, but I think blue just kind of stole the show. Yeah, it's nice. It's, in, it's a nice green. I feel like if anyone watches Chloe Rose art, she, if I remember rightly, she likes that like pastel green type colour. This like reminds me of her. This is like the Chloe Rose colour in my head. I love that blue. I'm in love with it. Oh wow. Right, okay, so looking at them as they've dried, they have actually lost the sheen. Let's move my water so I don't spill that pencil. I, by the way, I don't know if it's just me, but I've always really liked like the colours that are left over from watercolour. Yeah, <laughs> the colours that are left over. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, so if I move it around, you can see the sheen where the pencil was, but as soon as I put water to it, there's no metallicness anymore. 
so uh, maybe it's just that that when they're water soluble they're metal colours as in they're the colours of metal but when they are when they're you know just dry they're actually shiny so I mean it's a very nice it's a very nice palette palette <laughs> it's a very nice pack of pack of pencils for I think it was around 15 quid I'll put it up somewhere here how much it actually was um, but yeah I think it's actually a very nice pack I'm glad I bought glad I got it I'll just add it to the pencil collection that I don't use <laughs> no I really should be doing something with it but anyway so that was my review for the <coughs> Derwent metallic pencils I did really like them I think they're pretty good for the price that I got them at uh, I like the colours, there's a nice range of colours, you know, there's a nice range of metal colours, sorry, and then I do really like the bright colours they give you as well. So yeah, I think it's a great, great product, and yeah, if you enjoyed this review, give me a like and a subscribe if you want to see more. I know this is longer than my normal videos, but it's because I waffle. <laughs> um, so yes, I will hopefully be doing more drawing and reviews and stuff in the future when I get some products I actually want to test. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye!